Wade Middleton is at the deer camp to do some management hunting today. He's trying to control the wild hogs population that has exploded in recent years. It's also a perfect opportunity for testing out the new 10-point Nitro XRT. Energy and power, I mean, when it hits the target or something that you, that you, really, that you really strive for and you really want to look at. And you know, when you're shooting into targets, you can tell if you're knocking stuff in there. But there's nothing like the experience of hunting and seeing uh, basically what, what's going to happen. I'm in 30 to 50 yards all day long whatever it may be and so when you're crossbow practicing and you start hearing these crazy numbers you know of, of energy and you look at something that's pretty small delivering that I want to practice with it I want to experience it you know and, and going out hog hunting is a great way to try some aggressive angles you know it's an invasive species to begin with uh, we try to knock them down and manage to keep those numbers below zero where, wherever we're at and uh, so, you know, taking some aggressive angles on hogs and watching the impact power. I mean, watching hogs literally get their legs knocked out from under them, uh, shooting hogs through the shoulders at 40 yards and watching them die right there. Um, man, that's catastrophic damage. Right there. I shot him from this side here coming in. And that is impact power blood and damage right there. <laughs> yeah, that's two pigs down thanks to the new nitro. And I mean, you talk about damage. You want accuracy, you want quietness, you want incredible knockdown power. And when you start looking at the advancements that we're seeing in crossbows, this new nitro has definitely advanced and raised the bar. Well, after field testing the 10-point Nitro XRT crossbow at the range and getting it done early, Wade still has an hour left, so he decides to go sit down at the killing tree stand. He hopes that some of the odd that he saw on the scouting camera will show up. You know, for me, it's, it's ironic. I, I don't have an odd ed mounted on my wall. I've wanted one for a long time. Uh, but it seems like I always get stuck on the guiding finding aspect of them. So um, in the back of my mind, the last couple of years, I've been like counting the days to where I would be in the stand and one would show up. But every time I go out, I don't ever see them. When I look at an odd dad, you're looking at an animal, if it's a mature one, that's going to be well over 200 pounds. A lot of them are in the 250 class. You're looking at a very thick bodied, muscled up animal that is just incredible to look at. It's majestic and powerful when it comes in, but you know it can take punishment. You know, Rusty and I hadn't been sitting up there for about 15 minutes. We hadn't seen anything, and I, I kind of looked back at Rusty, and he had the camera aimed off to the right, and one was, was coming out of the brush line over there, and I'm kind of looking at it, and there's no way to get a shot from where we are at the, the distance-wise. And I just happened to look back to the left, and here comes one heading to the water. Shortest track ever <laughs> for an odd ad. I mean, he's dead right there. That's not 30 yards, that's not 25 yards from where we took the shot. I mean, look at this monster. <laughs> that's the exit right there. Look at this. Holy cow. I have, I mean, dating back to when I first started guiding <laughs> decades ago, I was enamored with big audads. I just thought they were one of the coolest animals ever. I mean, look at this curve, the way it goes back in. And I mean, he's got incredible chaps. Man, sometimes you play a hunch, sometimes you just get lucky because when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. 
This is a big old odd head. In point nitro, <laughs> XRT through both shoulders. I mean, that is some bone crushing power. These are big, thick, massive animals. And it just blew through it like a knife through hot butter. Sweet! <laughs> God.